What's going on everybody, Cyberbus Wolf here and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to revert your GTA 5 game version for LSPDFAR so you can continue playing LSPDFAR without any issues after GTA updates really soon here in December of 2025. Let's go ahead and let's get started with, the video, with this episode. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified when I upload new content just like this and future content. So with that being said, let's get started. So to get started, we're gonna create a new folder onto our desktop, new folder. We're gonna keep this folder as new folder for now. Now we're gonna go to our main game directory. Inside our main game directory, we're gonna look for our GTA 5 version that we're currently playing on. This is the latest version as of right now. And as we're highlight over this, you can see right here, it says file version 0 0.0.3586.0. But you can also find this by right clicking it, going to properties and then clicking on details. That is the game version right there. So with this still open, we're gonna come back up to this folder. We're gonna rename it and we're gonna call it GTA 5. 1.0.3586 and hit and we're going to name the folder that that inside of this folder that we just created we're going to open it and we're going to make a new folder called update now inside this update folder we're going to take this updates folder and we're going to open it up we're going to come into our main game directory, go to this updates folder inside and take these two files here. We're going to copy them and we're going to take them over here to our new folder that we created inside the updates folder and we're going to paste them inside. Now, depending on how fast your computer is, this won't take very much time to do this section. Don't worry about X64 because it's over 60 gigabytes. It's almost 61 gigabytes. So just those two files. And then we're going to backspace by one to come back into this section here of the GTA 5 folder that we created for the revert. And we're going to grab seven additional files from the main game directory. They are going to be your play GTA. Now you're going to use your control key. Uh, so press your control key and click on one and click on one and that will select it individually. So you're going to grab GTA 5 exe. GTA 5 underscore B dot B -E dot e -X -E, which is the battle line that they introduced earlier this year. The GTA 5 language selector, GTA 5 launcher, the play GTA 5 dot e -X -E, the script hook V dot D O L. And this is for the Steam version only, but you're going to grab the Steam API 64 dot D O L. You're going to grab all these. And we're gonna we're gonna count them real quick, just so that way we make sure we have all seven. Even though it says seven selected down here, we're gonna make sure we have seven that we want. We got GT five BXE, GT five BXE. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna take these seven files, and while we're highlighted on one of them, we're gonna copy them. So right click, copy, come back to the folder that we created. Don't go into the updates folder, just paste them right in here and hit paste. And then we just updated, we just reverted our GTA 5 game version. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna right click this folder. We're gonna compress to zip file. Depending on how long it takes, uh, how fast your thing is, it's not gonna take that long to compress this but it's just gonna compress the zip file and then that way it's gonna be there for us to use in a later, later times. It's very simple to rewrite your game version and I recommend you do it for whenever GTA 5 has a massive title update that completely breaks script hook V. And I will show you guys what I mean by break script hook V. So if you ever get a, if you ever try to play GTA 5, after a recent update comes out and you have script hook v installed script hook v will throw an error message at you something along the lines of 
this right now, right here. When you get this 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 uh, error message, it means script hook v the script of v that you have in your game is not updated to the recent version that the game just released. It's still using the old game version. So to fix that, we're going to go to our GTA five. We're going to take our script hook v dot file out. Let me find it. <laughs> Our script hook fee dot dll out just like they were just going to copy it out you don't really need to do it because it's already right here but this is just an example and then you would delete your script hook v and then if you have a mods folder you would rename it to something something like this so normally your mods folder would look like this and GTA 5 can read that mods folder. So if GTA 5 updates and it sees this mod folder here and you're using stuff in there that's from the previous version, it's also going to cause your game to crash. So go ahead and cl right click your mods folder, click rename, and then put a either a dash in front of it like so. And hit enter. And then that way GTA 5 can no longer read this mods folder. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to launch GTA 5 to make sure that you're going to want to make sure you're on the latest version. Sorry, uh, we'll launch the GTA 5 version afterwards. <laughs> you want to make sure that you are on the latest version of GTA 5. Now to do this on Steam, you're going to right click Steam, going to go to library, GTA 5.e, GTA 5 Legacy. Gonna click this one, not enhanced, legacy, because that was be far currently only works on the legacy version as the making of this video on the latest version of LSP far on the actual official website. If you want to get support for enhanced version, you need it on their Patreon. But we're gonna be using the legacy version. So we're gonna right-click this, go to properties, installed files, and verify your integrity game files. You'll click this, you wait for it to verify, and then once everything is verified, you will then simply launch the game. Now we're going to let it launch the game and connect to the social club. And you'll know that it works if you connect to the social club and are able to get into story mode. So let's go ahead and let's let it do its thing. I will speed up this process. Give your auntie a foot rub, boy. Okay, once you verify that you can get into the game, you can go ahead and go to game and quit the game from here. And then once you're done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, you're gonna open up your GTA 5 folder again, and put all five. You're gonna go to the zip file that you created. We're going to open it up. So you should have this right here. We're going to take all of these files and we're going to drag and drop them. And with this feature, it will merge all those files into into this into where they need to go. So it's going to it might take some time depending on how good your computer is, but you'll that's simply what you're going to need to do. It's taking a little bit of time for me. And then what it says here, it says replace eight files. Go ahead and click replace the files in the destination. And then you're good to go to launch GTA 5 and always keep, uh, and always be able to play it on the version that you just reverted so you don't have to worry about constantly having to wait for script v to update obviously uh after some time you do want to update to the latest version when script v updates so that way you kind of get more performance because sometimes gta tile updates do get some performance for you but that is how you basically revert your game files hope you guys found this video helpful uh, if you did, again, be sure to hit that subscribe button, 
click that bell notification. It really helps out the channel and it lets you get notified for when I upload future content. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.